Hi there. Thank you for watching this video. In this video, I will going to demonstrate you a new feature I contributed to the D365 FO admin toolkit. This toolkit is a GitHub project initially created by Alex Meyer, and it's a tool set to make life easier for system administrators. It's created for the community and by the community. It's not only Alex or me, but there are also more contributors and we're also welcoming other contributors making a great set of utilities. If you want to read more about the current available features, please go to the GitHub page and read more. Now coming back to the feature I added to the code toolkit, that's about managing and providing security access to users using Microsoft Entra ID groups. A few years ago, I wrote a blog how to do that, but also in this blog, I wrote some downsides if you're using the standard features today. And one of them is listed over here, where the user ID is just with unmeanable characters created if a user logs in the first time. Coming back to that one in the demo as well. Other downsides are just listed a bit further below in this block, where I listed some disadvantages, like what happens if a user is inheriting the access permissions from an Azure group and not getting roles directly assigned to these users. So what I did do myself in this feature, and you can take advantage of it, is ensuring that the user is also getting the security rules directly assigned based on the settings in Microsoft Entra ID. So one of the portals could be the Azure portal where you can manage users. And for example, Alfonso Gomez is a new user and he has currently three groups where he's a member of. One is the generic company group and two others, the accountant and sales manager for the German companies. When looking at it from the other side, from the group side, you can set up security groups in a way that it will meet the security roles, but also the organization assignments. So in this case, an accountant for Germany, France, Italy, or USA, or the sales manager role for German, France, and USA. What I did do is ensure via automatic role assignment that the users will get the roles also physically assigned, inherited from the group setup. To be able to use the automatic role assignment, you must have the data available in finance and operations. So the first thing I did was created a table where per user see the enter ID group membership. For synchronizing the Enter ID groups per user, there is a batch job available where you can run it periodically or also in the parameters form, you can enable a synchronous synchronization option. And then when the user interacts within finance operations, it will periodically check if there's an update on the Enter ID groups per user. The second thing is if we go to the groups setup, and as you can see, the groups here do match the groups as set up in Entra ID. If we drill down on a particular group, then on the group level, you can assign the roles, but also you can assign organizations. And in this case, the account in Germany is restricted to Contoso Entertainment in Germany. To be able to copy or reuse the information set up on the group level, including the permissions, I added a new option which can be enabled on the group level where I can enable an automatic role assignment integration for each of the groups. And if you enable that one, then it will automatically create rules for each of the roles used on the groups. So if you go to assign users to roles, we can now see that on the accountant, there are 
rules created for Germany, France and USA. And for Germany, if you look at the view query, it will look at the new table and it will then add all users part of this group. As you can see, directly also Alfonso Gomez is now automatically assigned to this role based on the setup. Now suppose you want to make edits from this place here, for example, for the accounting supervisor. In case we want to also assign the accountant Germany to this role, assigned to the role. If we go back, we can see that directly also a rule was created and it will loop again the table with the group user membership where it will then also assign the users automatically. And the same is valid if you just delete revoke access from German accountant. In that case, it will also remove the users directly also based on the setup. In the introduction, I also mentioned that the user ID created when a user logs in the first time is not an, in a readable format. To prevent that, there's an option where you can synchronize users from memberships. So first we will delete Alfonso Gomez from here. In the D365 admin toolkit, periodic task, there's an option to synchronize the user group synchronization, but you can also import users from enter ID group membership. So if we click this one, it can be started in batch, but now I'll just run it manually. That will loop through all the groups in finance operations, tries to find the members on enter ID. And in case it will find a new user, which is not a user yet in finance operations, it will directly add it also with a user ID, which is meeting the same pattern as when you import users in finance and operations. And as this user is now new, or he needs to log in to get the enter ID group membership activated, or we have to wait for the batch shop running, which will then also update the enter ID groups for this particular user. Now, when having all the roles assigned to the users, the downsides of features that are not working when the roles are not assigned to the users are all mitigated. Meaning that in case you want to use segregation of duties, it's now working. If you want to use extensible data security with dependency on security roles, that's working. Also, if you have personalized views published to security roles, also that part is working. So I hope you like this feature. You can go to the page of the D365FO admin toolkit, download it and start using the feature today. It's free. Thanks for watching this video and see you next time. Bye bye.